Hi, and welcome to my list of top 10 upcoming games of 2016 on PC. If you disagree or think there is a game that deserves a spot on the list, leave a comment below. Number 10. Mass Effect Andromeda We haven't really seen much gameplay of this new addition to Bioware's wonderful series, but what we have seen looks awesome. The additions they're bringing to this game seems very promising. While we do not play as the usual Commander Shepard this time, we will most likely see lots of content related to him through our journeys. We hope to see this game at the end of 2016. Number 9. Conan Exiles We get yet another Conan the Barbarian game in 2016, but this time it's not a faulty MMO. It's an open world survival game and the developers say that the Conan universe is the perfect fit for a survival open world environment. The keywords are survive, build and dominate. You can play alone in a single player mode or you can play on both private and public servers. Let's hope this one can bring something new and great to the survival genre. Number 8. Boundless, previously known as Orc Online. I supported this game on a funding site a few years back and then it was called Ort Online. It showed promise as a next-gen Minecraft game but now it seems like it has gotten more funding and they're progressing way faster than a year ago. It looks much better than when it went under the name Ort Online and this is mainly because of the new game engine. The main reasons to play this game are a huge open world sandbox universe, just like Minecraft only much better looking, Player-driven economy, make shops, sell, get rich, or poor. Gorgeous portals to travel to and from other places and worlds. Good first-person ranged and melee combat with many types of weapons. I would like to add that this game looks gorgeous now after the update. Keep an eye on this one, but be wary as it's an early access game on Steam right now. Number 7, Sea of Thieves. This game is developed by Rare, which have many big games like GoldenEye 007, Perfect Dark, Donkey Kong Country and Banjo-Kazooie behind them, so they are really well known even if they don't have that many popular games post-2010. So far we have very little information about the game except that it will contain quite a lot of user-generated content, so we will have the ability to craft custom stories using an in-game tool. You can fight on the open ocean with huge ships armed with cannons against other players. So far, this game looks extremely good, but we don't have any specific release date yet. Number 6. Kingdom Come Deliverance A realistic open world first person medieval RPG. Yeah, that's a lot to take in, but it looks very good. So far, it looks like Witcher 3 just with slightly better graphics, if that's even possible. No magic, just medieval stuff like knights and stuff. The combat are going to be authentic and realistic, which means you have much to control when it comes to the sword play. It's single player only, the world will be interactive, and this one is one to look out for if you are into single player games like The Witcher 3. Number 5. Far Cry Primal You've all heard of the Far Cry series and most likely you have played a few of them. I personally got tired of the, doing the same thing for all the Far Cry games and I'm glad to see that they are expanding and going a bit towards the survival genre instead. The game takes place in the Stone Age where you play as Takar, a hunter and last surviving member of your group. You have to fight deadly saber-toothed tigers, woolly mammoths and opposing tribes. Expect this one to be extremely good. It have already released on consoles and are releasing on PC March the 1st. Number 4. Ghost Recon Wildlands. Another tactical shooter, but this time it's open world and in development by Ubisoft Paris. This is the first time we'll see a Ghost Recon game to feature an open world environment. The game is in the futuristic setting as in Advanced Warfighter and will feature a setting similar to the original Ghost Recon. I can see myself spending many hours playing with my friends on this one. Definitely one to look out for.
Number 3, No Man's Sky. I'm sure this one is not a big surprise and it has been a big talk in the gaming community for quite some time and it's so gorgeous. Inspired by the adventure and imagination that, that we love from the classic science fiction, No Man's Sky presents you with a galaxy to explore filled with unique planets and lion forms and constant danger and action. You can travel anywhere you want to in the galaxy and you name planets, systems, animals and life you encounter. Look at it as an open universe exploration game where you fight as in Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen, but you can land anywhere, meet anyone and do anything. Rather than looking realistic, it had this colorful look, which I prefer over any system hugging realistic look. The universe is procedurally generated and all the planets, animals and places you go will look different as no place are the same. You will most likely see this one on every top 10 list out there. Definitely a one to look out for. Number 2. Dark Souls 3. This is one of the few hardcore games I've been looking out for a while. I've never played the Dark Souls series because I've never liked how they looked and Bloodborne was only on PS4 and I can't be arsed to play on my PS4. Dark Souls is one of the few very hard games where we'll be tested on a journey. Players will be immersed into a world of epic atmosphere and darkness through fast gameplay and high intensity combat. Both fans and newcomers will most likely get lost in the game rewarding gameplay and immersive graphics. I will be playing this when it comes out so please subscribe to see some epic Dark Souls 3 content. Number 1. Tom Clancy's The Division. The big one. The biggest. The Division. The game was hyped for at least a year before it got somewhat silent. But they then released the beta and the hype begun again. This is an online open world third person shooter RPG with survival elements. The game is developed and published by Ubisoft. You play as an agent of the Division, where you have watched New York fall due to a deadly virus. Teaming up with other Division agents, your mission is to restore order, investigate the source of the virus and take back New York. Day and weather exists and you will experience day and night cycles various seasons and weather alike. You have a gas mask to protect yourself from the virus, which you can upgrade to enter the most contaminated areas. The game offers a good story with both PvE and PvP zones, where the dark zone is the PvP zone where you can both forge and destroy alliances in the blink of an eye. I played quite a bit in the beta because I was worried the game would turn out to be pretty bad, but what I experienced in the beta was an amazing game. I highly suggest you watch The Division, watch the videos and everything, and see where it goes, because this will be one hell of a game. Thank you for watching my top 10. Please subscribe, like and comment.